Oh yeah, boys. It's the Maverick in the wild. And this is, this is the Mav Rick, AKA the Rick Mav. So this is Ricky's new unit. And oh, his new trailer too. Look at that, all blacked out. That's pretty cool. I got him, uh, him and Doug and Nick and Jason some gifts. Some, some gifts in the form of Timbits. Who doesn't like these things? I can hear him yelling in here already. <laughs> Mav Rick. I bring gifts in the form of Timbits. What are you wearing? Well, <laughs> I gotta make my own stuff. You guys don't give me anything. So. <laughs> He's got more shirts than I have, dude. Oh, dude. Why have boxes of shirts? Giant boxes. Wait, wait, no. Remember when we gave him like eight shirts for his birthday? Oh, I got one oh, over yeah. here. Maybe I might have wore that. But Unbelievable. Give me no hat. I got improvised. <laughs> anyway, take a Timbit, bro. Uh, Get down. Those suckers look good, man. They're super good. Yeah, they're cool. So, this is going to be the gifts video. So, okay, we'll get man. this later. But, it's a good day for you. Yeah, I know. And I got for two Jason. Bits. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, this gift, right? No. This is how we get Rick back. Yeah. Tim bits and Hebo parts. What's weird about this is we've both Hebo. gotten significantly faster, or wait, fatter. <laughs> and then Rick's like, you might actually be a little skinnier. All right, I'm not sure if you're aware. I've had this sweatshirt for about five years, so. And it still I'm just fits. Extremely cheap. That's how you do it. Mm. Uh, cool. Well, man. anyway, we'll just cut to the stuff. Sidebysideblog.com garage. Big things popping, little things stopping, dude. So Today, Rick's gonna tune his unit. Remember he said in the video, and I quote, that thing's been running longer than the warranty is going to last. So, story. we have our map tuner. We don't have any of the cables. That's all out in my car. I'm gonna go get them. Yeah, we're also gonna feel what a stock unit feels like. Yeah. I'm ready for it. No, let's do it. Rick just said we used to be cat bros, now we're X3 bros. It's a good feeling. Much better feeling than cat bros. I'm it's not mad about, about it. Bros, I mean, yeah, the cats, just haven't worked for us, but they work for a lot of people. Yeah. There's beast mode, just chilling, having a good time. Oh, man. Oh, tune time, baby. Okay, so this will be a not super ridiculous, sort of, somewhat, step-by-step, -step how to sync your car to a map tuner. So, open up your glove box. Where the hell is your thing? What the hell? 2019s are different. I just oh, realized boy. that. I think the cable's under there. Gosh darn it. You can see where it, what it came through though. Yeah, there's the cable. So on a 2017 and 2018, this cable comes through here. On a 2019, it's in here. So same cable, same thing. Take your map tuner, plug this into your diagnostic port. Rick, handle that. Hear the click. Nice, hear the click. Okay, so this on the other side is HDMI. Plug the HDMI into the bottom of the map tuner. And with a little bit of power, I think you have to power it up to sync the car, just like that. Okay, so now that it's sunk, synced, stunked, we'll try to stunked. hold this here nicely for you guys. We'll hit add vehicle. Next, it'll take a second. Add Rick's VIN, don't steal his VIN. I hit yes. And it should sync the car, so it's going to go through a few steps to make that happen. That's basically just going to put all the car's information onto the map tuner. And once all the car's information is on the map tuner, then we can go ahead and sync this with the map tuner software and then request a tune from Evo. So that's what we'll do next. Sounds pretty simple to me. Yep. We actually have uh, one of the latest Evo employees with us here today. National Evo there, dude. Uh, Nick Zaccone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys up to today? And he's going to show us the step-by-step -step process of how to uh, sync your map tuner with the computer. You ever seen anything like this before, MSI, dude? Yeah, there's one right there, dude. Whoa, what the? <laughs> 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 
thought this was special, dude. Apparently, I'm anyway, wrong. so you got a uh, mini USB there. Into you, a USB in, here. Into a little USB there. Put it in the side of the computer. Make sure you go with the 3.0 plug. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter. And then the program you're going to be using is called My Map Tuner. So open that up. Sucker slick, dude. And then once this opens up, you're going to log in. So. Oh, cannot connect to server. Crap, we're not oh on the Wi-Fi. Well, anyway, gosh. hook up to Wi-Fi, and right, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Yeah, man. Whoa, we're hooked up now. Okay, so you, at this it. point, if you are doing this for the first time, you're going to create a new account. We already have an account. Mm -hmm. So once you create the account and get the login information, then you get to this step here. But since we have the account, we can't show you that part. You'll get to that part. So anyway, hold on. I found out a new thing. Check this out. Okay. So this is the uh, software area here, and this is where you'll hit synchronize. If you have one car in your map tuner, this is fine. If you have multiple cars, you can go to options up here in the corner, and you go advanced, and hit select vehicle to sync if more than one. So when we hit synchronize, we can just sync the one car that we're looking for. Oh, that is awesome so technology. We, yeah, so we have to hit map tuner X, and then from here, we'll pick Rick's VIN. Rick, pick out your VIN. VIN. What's yeah, your um, you don't know your VIN? Cut to me going to look. Okay. <laughs> 1179. Okay, so select your 1179, which is the bottom one here. Man, I was totally wrong. Wow, this is You gotta actually this hover over really, it. Yep, yeah. there you go. I'm talking to an Apple guy here, clearly. <laughs> By the way, this, this program doesn't work on anything but Microsoft, so you have That's to have that. So for here, this is where you'll request tunes. Um, we have to talk to our friends at Evo to request the tune that we're going for, but it's going to be 3RWI. Uh, and we'll do that, and once you do that, you hit Submit Request, and then it'll go through. We haven't done this step yet, but we will in a second. Deal? Hold on. All right. That was the direct line to Evo? <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, I just missed it. Anyway, it said it was syncing the 3RWI, so we uh, requested the tune via the software here. This thing should be ready to roll. And, uh, okay, Rick, take her back out, fam dog. Do it. Unhook it. We'll do it live right now. Let's take this thing out to the car. Okay, I lied. We're not going to put the tune on the car yet because we got to do something else. We have to get our draggy unit, which is our 10 hertz GPS-based performance meter, uh, which will give us accurate 0 to 60, eighth mile, yada, yada data, but we're really interested in 0 to 60 with this tune, so we're going to test it stock first. Uh, and we have our nice little launch lane here that we've been doing a lot, a lot of testing in, so you can sort of see it's dug down a bit, you get real good traction on both sides. And we're going to test this thing. Bone stock, dude. Boone stock. Boone stock X3. So Rick's 10 gonna, miles. Yeah, 10 miles on it. So Rick's going to put a little bit of heat in the motor and then come back around and uh, do some runs. So we'll see what she does. Heck yeah, dude. Look at that. Jason just pulled up as well Perfect. with his Ooh. brand new X3, just like Rick's. I'd be really curious to see how the two compare. They're identical brand new machines, so. Interesting. Yeah. We could run them. I'm weirdly excited to see dust. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know, for real. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do some zero to 60s in stock form. Rick's getting a little bit of heat in the motor. Then we'll run this bad boy in the draggy, dude. How exciting. Okay, we got the draggy going. It's in, uh, hooked up to my phone here. We got the Dragon unit here. Rick's gonna do the first zero to 60. I'm guessing 5.4. 5, 5.7. Jason. 5.9. 6.1. Okay, Rick, go for it. Wow. Fresh, fresh big horns, man. Yeah. Do it. yeah, right here. This was a, a nice spot that I had going during my clutch testing. And uh, I feel like when you get traction like around the edge of the tires, you get in a groove, you get yeah. better traction. Yeah. What's interesting to me too is the sound of it. So I'm so used to just tuned up X3s, which have the exact same sound, but are way louder. <laughs> yeah, like 10 times <laughs> like, more angry. Yeah. Right. Right. True. We'll see though. What did I say? 5.6 or 5.4? Five, 5.4. Four? Five, four. Okay. All right, how'd it feel, Rick? I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I got it from a dig, and that's, I mean, stock machine, no joke, as yes. is. Right. So, but as they say, the more power, the better. <laughs> <laughs> the more, the merrier. Okay, here we go, boys. Wow, it is a lot quicker than any of us guessed it. You guys really? ready for it? Really, okay. We're talking zero to 60, if you can see that. 
5.33 seconds. Wow, man. Wow, you were close, actually, dude. That, that was good. That down. Pretty good. That man. was good. Shoot. Very cool. So it well, felt good. Yeah, felt, felt real hey, good. I mean, you, it launched like pretty much immediately, feeling like it seemed like there was almost no lag. It just poof. Yeah. Let's do one more for data. Yeah, I agree. And it then um, back it up and we'll see how much you can improve. Belt or okay. This is a 652 belt. Oh, the stock harness. Go for it, Rick. Sounded good. Can't be mad about that, man. We'll see what it was. He's digging into the wet stuff, getting all the traction. So ideally we're close. Repeatable data would be good here. Yep. All right, we'll see. Oh, the phone came out. Oh Lord, hopefully it's okay still. And we got a 5.39. Perfect. So yeah, we're basically dead on. Two five threes, man. Cool. So we got one 5.33, one 5.39, bone stock in the dirt. That ain't bad, fam. No, 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 not bad at all. Awesome, man, let's go put some parts on it. Parts time? Number one, baby. Ooh. Our uh, local <laughs> Evo rep, Nick Seuss, he's talking to the owners at Evo right now to make sure this deal's right. They said it's all right. We're good, okay. They said they're not sure about his sweatshirt, but it's all right. <laughs> Unbelievable sweatshirt. Rick, oh, wow. Congratulations, dude. Wow. You've made it to the next level, wow. dude. <laughs> Proud of you. I'm gonna start calling this guy Sousa Claus. <laughs> so there's more than parts for Rick. So set the box down and we can all go through it. So right. we talked to our friends at Evo. We said this. We got two brand new X3s here for the bros of the blog. Jason, I'd like to congratulate you, dude, <laughs> on this box of goodies. I like what I see already. Pull them out. Pull them out, Rick. What do we got first? We got injectors for Jason. Wow. Oh. Nice. oh. Okay. Jason's going right for the blood. Amazing. Power. <laughs> We got injectors for Rick. Ooh. Wow, Rick's going right for the blood. Amazing. <laughs> uh, but wait, there's more. There's more. We got a blow off valve for Jason. Oh, oh my Ooh. goodness gracious. <laughs> Just going to have a little freaking sound show out here. How else? Well, you know, it's turbo. He's right. We got a blow off valve for Rick. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what else do we got? We got wastegate actuators for both. This is the greatest oh. thing. <laughs> Explosion here, of power. Hold yeah, hold these. Yeah, yeah. Precious cargo. All right. Oh my. We got charge tubes. Charge tubes. Those are dual horn freedom. What are you, loco? <laughs> Can't confirm that, dude. They're in the pack. Man. <laughs> and then uh, I believe that's it for you guys, unless oh. there's more. The rest of that's for another just some, unnamed yeah, machine. Else, right? Some idiot. Anyway, though. You still haven't done that. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's put them on, dudes. That's awesome. Injectors. Charge tubes, wastegate actuator, and we got cat deletes in the garage yeah. already. So I don't think we've said it before, but uh, that's part of the three RWI kit is all this combined together. The trifecta of power, yeah. cat delete, fuel injector, wastegate actuator, power, triangle. Sprinkle a little charge tubes on top. <laughs> yeah. It's in there. A good measure. That's in there. Cool. So yeah, let's do all this, man. We got the fresh Jason unit coming off the trailer right now. I believe he's taking his on a little ride already, so he's probably got 30, 40 miles on it, something like that. Still looking fresh, he must have cleaned it off. What do you got in the box, brother? Half windshield. Oh! Accessorizing. Oh! <laughs> How many miles, dude? Uh, 20.5. Oh, wow, going hard. It's broken in now. Yeah, I'd say. Mod time, dude. It's a good day, dude. X3s, mods, sun shining, Battlefield Ranch. Only thing else you could ask for is some pizza. I'm gonna throw that out there. In time, that'll come. The Mavericks going in the garage to get all the mods. Mod Rick, Mav Mod. Good day. You can fit, dude. Think I can? Absolutely. It's a Maverick, bro. Man, how do you feel, Will? <laughs> I like it. It's just so many machines in here. I know it. Uh, Keep going, Rick. Up, bud. We gotta bring Steve That's good. Woo. 
Well, time just to tear her down, fam dog. Last time I pulled a Maverick oh, in here, God, I think we were putting a box yeah. bar in there. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. 3RWI time, baby. So we got to get the injectors out of the rail, which are in there. We got to take the uh, stock catalytic converter off and put a CAD bypass pipe on it. We also got to add some charge tubes, and those are not too hard to get at. You'll see in a minute, Rick. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm real excited. So that 5.3, that felt good. I'm hoping to get it under five. Oh yeah, we got that in there for sure. So Do it. step one, take all the stuff off the back so we can loosen up the muffler. So then we can then get the cat pipe off. I think there's one more oh, in the middle yeah, there, dude. One. See, I'm just getting all the T30s off here to get that uh, muffler shroud off. And eventually this machine's gonna be getting a muffler as well. This is sort of a temporary setup. Muffler just hasn't come in yet. Look how clean it is, oh my god. This makes Steve's looks dirty. Oh, Jesus. Don't say that too loud without <laughs> your polish in it. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Got some exhaust clamps on this. Yeah, so. Pipe, some springs. Probably want to get those springs off, and at the bottom, there's uh, four bolts that we got to get pulled off. Okay. A lot of people have their own tools for this. We got the players with the hooks. All you need to do is get a coat hanger, dude, and put an angle bend on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Come on, pull. There it is. Hey, good work. Should be one more. Four? Four. These things are from Canada, dude. Oh, boy. This is the tough one. There you go. Now these bottom muffler bolts have to come out here, and then you can uh, loosen up the, the muffler. I think if you only take one out, you can actually tilt the muffler backwards. Oh, okay. Just and then rotate it enough to loosen. Yeah, enough room to get that out. Sweet. Oh, the exhaust mod, huh? This is a quick look into your future, bud. <laughs> it's coming. Got the, uh, all the stuff coming off here. So we took the back cover off already. Rick's working on those four bottom bolts. Yeah, what we got now is a classic case of lost socket. So uh, it's up right. Gonna put scuba gear on and go diving for it. It'll, it'll come out it'll at some point. Dude. Rick has doffed the scuba gear and, uh, He's on his way to Boltsville. Yeah, it's like four hours later. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. So you got those two out? Yeah, I got uh, the two front bolts out. I got this one loosened up. This back one, I still need to loosen this other back one up. And then we're just gonna- I think she'll rotate. Rotate. Let it rotate. Bum, bum, bum. No, I'm just kidding, but. Yeah, man, so. Loosened up. Should be enough to get that cat delete pipe, or uh, cat pipe out of there. Cat delete in there. So I don't remember if we jacked mine up and then took the shock off, or it just came out, or we had to take the shroud off. Do you remember, Nick? Shroud off. Shroud? Okay. The shroud comes off, and then it gently freaking, I mean, you gotta she comes out. it through. I think we honestly got it through the little cubby hole in the front. Like there or there? No, in the front front, like where you put your hand in through the, in the, okay. the cab itself. Wow. Oh yeah, because you can, it, you can it shaped it. like this, oh, okay. so you can go up and, yeah. It's a little bit easier. You'll get that. You'll get that. I'm gonna yeah, go. These Whoop. guys. These shrouds have to come off, and then the, sh the shrouds on the. Yeah, the shrouds on the actual pipe have to come off. So I'm gonna go sync Jason's car, and we're gonna tune and install all those parts on two X3s today. This it's a is good a lot day. Of X3s. <laughs> it's like X9. <laughs> you guys want to be in my gang? Oh, Whoa! Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, what are you up to in there, Rico? Well, we're just taking this here V-band off the old uh, turbocharger, mm -hmm. loosening her up, getting ready to pull the stock piece out. Should well, be pretty, pretty good. Easy. Yeah, should, I mean, I just watching you. No, Turns out when you got a low mile unit that uh, things doesn't just, have a ton yeah. of mud on it, yep. things come apart pretty easily. Baked so mud. I don't want to jinx that, so I probably just did, but. Whose machine has a ton of mud on it? I mean, yeah, I don't know. the one with the cat who's looking confused on it. I think his name's Lamudo or something. Freaking <laughs> LaRusto, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Just tap the whole, yeah, tap the whole uh, V band there, Rick. Come loose eventually. 
Having a little bit of trouble getting the V-Man clamp off, but she'll go. Rick, what just happened, man? So we just fought this V-band for quite a long period of time, and it's most definitely because I said everything was gonna go easy, so yep. don't do that. Good one. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is snake your screwdriver in. Through here, we got Nick Seuss cameraman, so it might not, uh, might not be great. Turn I'll, I'll try and get on the, I don't know if you can see my screwdriver or not. Might need to come in through back over here. Let's see, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. It's gonna be right here. If you can Let's see, see. That, huh? come on. Yep, there she is. Boom. So you're good. There, this is the external part of the clamp that's going to have your stud in it. You're going to loosen the nut on that. But what you're going to want to do is take the screwdriver and actually go in here and pry between the cap pipe and the clamp itself. You're just going to want to rotate like that, so clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. But that's going to spread the clamp apart and allow you to break the seal of the clamp. So that's what we ended up having to do. You have to do it on there. the back part of the clamp and the front part. Yeah, so if you have two people, it might be a little bit easier. So if you crank on that right there too, and then right where this bolt was, give that a little tap and then spread it apart. It just comes apart a little easier, but good job, Rico. Um, yeah, let me, let me look at it. Look at these guys, struggling with V-band clamps, but finally getting it. check it out, it's about to go down. Did you get it? Yellow. Yeah, it's loosened up, we just gotta, Get the correct routing of this thing to pull her out of there. You'll probably have to get the oxygen sensor off as well. Uh, we unplugged her. Yeah, I don't know. Can you pull that out or no? Just like a cluster bomb of things. Boom! <laughs> Cat out, give us one. Horn of capture. <laughs> Horn of capture. Yeah. Horn of capture. There's no freedom in this thing, dude. Horn of POW MIA. Cool. Tie, tie, tie. Right. right, right, right. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Oh, there's your next piece. Put it in, Rick. Swap over your uh, oxygen sensors. Okay. So that one's Just got a 22 double. 22 millimeter. Yeah, that one's got a double bung for O2 double sensor bung. purposes. Uh, 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 double DB, bung. DB, Doug Butterfield. Coincidence? I don't think that Ugh. Oh, lost his hand. Cat delete. Cat delete pipe. So this gets rid of your catalytic converter, which is required for tunes above stage one from Evo. So this would probably make this not on-road compliant, off-road use only. So there's the caveat on that. That was the plan. Anyway, while we're here, probably a pretty good time to go ahead and get these injectors done. So with all this stuff removed, so if you guys are doing 3RWI from stock, you have a lot more room when your catalytic converter and or your cat delete pipe is off. So you can reach right in here and gets everything. So it does look like they've changed the connector between 17 and 19. Mine's got a little bit different of a pinch connector and that one's uh, it still looks like a pinch connector but maybe it's got a secondary pinch on it. I don't know Rick, you're in the automotive world. What do you think about that connector? Let's take a look at her real quick. Uh, She's interesting looking. Yeah, looks like it's got this little pinchola. Yeah. No, let's get a rag first before we get too carried away so we're not spraying gas everywhere on Smart plan. Battle Dad's nice floor. Don't want to be banned just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how'd it look? What'd you do, Rick? Well, let me uh just drying up this gas mess here. Hey Will, can you hit the key real quick? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Open your mouth, Rick. I got a fire stick. Okay, so this is a uh, it's basically got a squeeze here. You can see here. Here's the lock on the bottom and on the top. It's gonna lock around this collar on your fuel rail. So you squeeze the yeah, sides. You basically just gotta squeeze those. That lifts the top and bottom up. And you pull her and, out. Uh, pull her out. Yeah. Be prepared for some gas to leak out of there. So good idea to have a rag. Yep. Don't open your mouth and or have someone try to start it while you're doing this. Yeah, bad idea. Then from here, there's two T30s holding the fuel rail on. That fuel rail will come off, and then we can uh, clean it and put new injectors in yeah, it. Yeah, we got some uh, fuel injector clips with your uh, connectors to take off. We already got this one off. You can see here, it's a, just a clip you push in on and should be able to pull it out. Sometimes you got to push down a little bit and then push in and then pull out. But pretty simple. Automotive style yeah. if you're used to it. Nothing special. Easy. All right. Fuel rail, dude. We got the rail out. Um, so basically, like Nick was saying, automotive style everything on these. Even these uh, 
lock tabs, so to say. So, got three tabs, one for each injector. You basically gotta spread them out. Can roll them off there. Comes off. Once you got this off, go ahead and wiggle the injector. It can be kind of tight in there. There you go. Boom. So, that's it. We'll repeat that for uh, these other three ones, and then uh, we'll be going back together. Put the big boys in. So, baby injector is gone. Yeah, baby injector is gone. A couple quick things to note. Obviously, don't get dirt in here. If your machine's dirty, take extreme caution prior to pulling this out. If you pull this out and you got mud going down your intake, not a good thing. You don't want yeah. that. These injectors, very small nozzles. You will, if it'll ever even focus on that, which I doubt, it will clog immediately. Yeah, another see thing. See if you can see that. Anyway, what do you got, Rick? Uh, these injectors, just make sure when you do pull them out, make sure this O-ring doesn't get stuck in the rail, and then make sure you have this ceiling washer comes out, and then this O-ring comes out as well because they can get stuck in the intake. And if you put this all back together with one of these O-rings or that washer left in there, you're gonna have a big gassy mess. So a bad make time. sure everything comes out. Where are the new ones? The big boys? Big boys. Right here. Time to crack them open. And so one thing that we did as well is use a little silicone around the uh, O-ring to make sure when they go in you don't screw up the O-ring. Yeah. Get a nice good seal in there. I like dish soap too. That's another good option if oh, you don't have any silicone. You can blow bubbles out of the exhaust. That's right. Maybe we'll use dielectric grease. It's one of Doug's favorite greases. Boom. I'm not going to say the cool saying that he does, so. Yeah, right. we'll wait for him to do that. So, we'll uh, show this one going back in. Kind of work it in there like that. Get it seated down. Clips. Take our clips. And there's actually a ridge in the fuel injector that this locks around. I don't know if you're able to see it. So you want yeah. to make sure that your spacing is good to be able to accommodate that. Here she comes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. Listen for the click. Rick will do the rest of them, put this thing back on. So Rick's not the only machine getting the full Evo treatment today. Jason is as well. Nick and Jason are out here working on this bad boy. How far did you guys get? Where'd you get, Susanator? What are you doing, bro? Not You're... very far because all your sockets. Jason's not in Yeah, they're not organized yet, dude. Godless Come heathens. <laughs> Godless heathen, Jesus. Where you at, Nick? Just here, dude. Okay. Evo went out, dude, you know, on a freaking Sunday. Evo went out on a Sunday afternoon, baby. Yeah, we're getting there, though. So, Jason also just did a sick mod. EMP. It looks like the sticker stuck. Couldn't get it off. I need a knife. <laughs> Unbelievable. Still working on that V-band? No. I haven't even made it that far. Oh, Jesus. Come on, guys. Rick's already done with the fuel rail. Yeah, because I helped Rick. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. Rail all assembled, ready to go back in. It's a good day. Go ahead, Steve. All right. Steve's going hard on his nitrous unit as well. He's got a bunch of good Evo parts on this thing and some other non-Evo parts, but he's got their intake. I'm very excited. Intake is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> it's unbelievably good. Yeah, like the best looking thing I think I've seen from these guys so far. It's a shame it gets covered up. But. Yeah, it's in there. No more blowing apart intakes though. Just oh, raw power. There's the Rick angle, the wrangle. Got Fuel the, rail is in. Got the rail set in there. Should just push in real easy. If, uh, if you need to draw the rail in with screws, chances are you did something wrong. Should just slide right in there. Smart. Should sit flush with the uh, uh, mounting surface of the fasteners. Yeah. So once that's in, you can take your two T30s. Throw Come here. Back in. Box of bolts. T30 life. And then now it's uh, probably a good time to attack charge tubes as well. So, very exciting. Like very exciting. So Rick's starting on removing the OEM charge tubes to exchange them for some Evo Power charge tubes, bro. 
so the Evo power to say <laughs> Evo power. The Evo tubes are uh, silicon with a little reinforcement band on the inside, and uh, they also come with T-bolt clamps as opposed to the worm gear clamps that are on these things from the factory. So don't have to worry about blowing those out, and uh, should be able to work better for you. Yeah, taking this first one off that goes from the uh, intercooler down to the intake and uh, two clamps. There's a zip tie you gotta cut, maybe two zip ties. Yeah, those two Pretty zip ties are back here, but yeah. And also too, the uh, Evo one comes with a spot for your blow-off valve. So some companies run the blow-off valve right near the exit of the turbo. Evo runs it a little bit higher in a different spot uh, back here to keep it out of the mud. So we'll play with that when it's time. Herc's gonna pull them bad boys off and then Put these bad boys on. There's your T-bolt clamps. There's your charge tubes. Pretty exciting. Charge tubes coming out, dude. So you took it off the intercooler on this side and then yep. off the throttle on the other yeah, end. Boom. Same thing as the injectors. If your machine's all muddy and dirty, I would suggest putting something in your throttle body so you don't uh, have any creatures mud daubers or anything fall down there. Any didgeries or news? Oh man, so clearly we're doing some video overlap here. Heard the Doug YXZ fire up. A lot going on here today. Might so, be a record. Sounds good. Look at the freaking charge tubes coming in, man. I hope this is going in right. I hope I put this in the right way. I want to say you got it upside down. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it like 180'd out. Oh, okay. Perfect. So I think the BOV comes back off here. Like, seriously. I think you oh, actually okay. have it wrong. Okay, classic. Don't do that. <laughs> I see parts. Where are you guys at? Getting the cat delete off? Or are you getting... Oh, no. I see what you're doing. Okay. Cat delete off. Oh, my bad. Come it's, on, Leo. Dude, my brain's gone. I'm not the official evil rep. Oh, shit, huh? <laughs> I think you're mainly just rounding that out right now. Alright, why don't you push down? <laughs> no, uh, oh, you do great. This? I'll do this. Do I see a strip T30? <laughs> it's getting there. If you ain't stripping T30s, you ain't living, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Here, pull the, pull the I feel like I've been doing this before. I don't know. <laughs> this is like a rewind. Liquamole! Liquamole, I said! I said liquamole! <laughs> what are you guys doing? Injecting? Cool. We came up with a song for Liquid Molly using our British accents. Give it. That's all we had. If I never heard that again, I could die a happy man. Liquid Molly! Liquid Molly, dude. So we're just getting the charge tube figured out. There's a little plug that's supposed to go at the end of this. Yeah, I'm just uh, figuring out how I want the clamps to be locked. Orientatoed. So yeah, the BOV uh, port should be pointing down back here because your BOV is going to run right here. So it's possible to confuse yourself. Even geniuses like Rick confuse himself. Not a shocker. <laughs> Odeker life. Yeah, it's a real testament to the quality of this unit. I mean, you know, we already covered the uh, T-bolt clamps that go on the intercooler, the throttle body and everything else. But, uh, you know, this is this port for, uh, or this block off that has to go in here. Comes with an Odeker clamp. Could have just came with your standard worm gear clamp, but no, comes with this clamp that's probably a dollar in itself. They don't give these away. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Can't point. Can't get these at Walmart. So yeah, this uh, requires a special set of players to pinch, or you could probably do it with something else, but we got a set of Odeco clamp players that uh, Doug and Steve use quite a bit. Just give that a little clamp or a do. You could probably do that with just like a set of side cutters or something, but... There she is. Yeah, so I think if you have to like boost reference anything at some point, um, Evo puts a boost reference port in the charge tube, so... Yeah, this is a, yeah, a vacuum be, cap, cap yeah. you can pull that off if you needed to do it. Wouldn't be where you'd run a boost gauge from, but... Right. Anything else would work. Unless you're just trying to look at boost. But anyway. Time to get this thing on. Let's do it. Charge tubes are going on, fam dogs, for the final time. So Rick's got the T bolts adjusted where he wants them. And he's just trying to squeeze the whole assembly in from the passenger side. So it is one big long piece and it's kind of sticky because it's made of silicone, so it'll work on though. We'll get her. And then one other thing that we have to do is there's an adapter that goes onto the intake manifold. 
on this little port in the back here, which is a T30, which is your boost reference for uh, the BOV. So we'll get that on after the charge tube goes on. Everything will look good. Neat. You guys are doing great work. I'm excited to see this thing run. You're doing great work, Doug. Not in this video, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, I've done a hundred of these, dude, in my sleep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so hey, Rick's got her going. So yeah. the uh, one hooked up to the intercooler is still loose, but it's attached. And then he's going over here to the one in the throttle body. And probably getting that uh, T-bolt clamp on-ish. Yeah, it's on. It's a, it's a tight fit. but Yeah, that's how I have mine set up too. So coming in from a weird yeah, you angle. Can probably sneak a ratchet and extension through the back here to tighten it up. So that'll be nice. But yeah, dude. Real good. So one other thing that we got to work on is getting the... Uh, on the plenum here, the intake manifold, there's a little T30 that you got to take off and then they give you a boost reference for the BOV. And that hooks up into the Bove. So you can see right there in the intake manifold right in the back there's that single lone T30. That's actually just like a, uh, a port dummy plug that you can tap into. So Rick's going in for the uh, charge tube coming off the turbo into the intercooler on the front part. Sort of a butthole to get to. Yeah. Can't even really see it from here, but maybe you can get it from over here, maybe? Yeah, you need a lot of extension. Yeah, you can see it right in there. We'll get it though. And once that one comes off, uh, we'll be replacing the one from the turbo to the intercooler with Evo's larger, better, overall, more exciting charge How's tube. How's it going on here, brothers? What are you working on? One of the charge tubes. Charge tubes. The charge. So still getting that uh, one on. Oh no, it looks like you got that one on. Yep, that one's on, just gotta tighten it down. Extension, I think. Nice, man. Scooting along, no complaints. So we are gonna have to change out the wastegate actuator as well. So we'll have to come in and uh, lightly pry off that boost line from the actuator that's on there and put the new big Evo actuator on there for all the power. Me and Rick are having like a little race right now, kind of. I feel like you're coming around them slowly. I think so too, yeah. Is this yours? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Kopech, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you just... It's like I was just saying, since we're putting a new wastegate actuator, which is part of the 3RWI kit, uh, so it's injectors, wastegate actuator, and then we have to adjust the uh, crack pressure for that. We have to take this little clip off here, no big deal. Come in with a set of pliers and lift on that, and that'll come off. Don't drop it. Because that's what holds your, holds your actuator arm to the uh, actual wastegate itself. So we'll get that off, and then we take these two bolts here, which are 10 mils, and this whole assembly will slide off. And then we'll put the uh, new unit on, and then we'll do V-flows at some point down the road, but not yet. Not yet, but soon. Soon. You didn't get all the power. Just Most of the power. <laughs> we got to leave some on the table for the yeah, people. Yeah, dude. Take it easy, Jason. Just got it, dude. There is a low-key race going on out there, Rick, between you and Jason. Really? Yeah. Who's winning? Uh, I think, I don't know where Jason's at in terms of the rear charge tube, but he's got the front one on, oh, so. okay. Where are you at? Um, like just overall? Well, I mean, in terms of installation. Well, I'm working on getting the uh, front charge tube clamped on. I got it on to the intercooler. I got it on to the turbo, so I just need to tighten those two clamps. I got to tighten the clamp that goes on the throttle body nice you know the thing about the Jason deal is he comes in here sees what I've done oh steals my technique goes back out there so he doesn't have to figure out how he's to do it pretty much the China the manufacturing China of the industrial revolutionary oh, chase level world chasing chasing the Rick that's what he's <laughs> gonna be doing here's the remainder of your gifts from Evo so Steakers, got some Evo stickers? No. So we got a Bove, and we got ourselves a wastegate actuator. So now we're ready to put that on. That'll go on, and then leave the tube off so we can adjust the wastegate actuator. And then the Bove. Do you have the rear charge tube in yet, or no? No, not yet. Let's finish okay. it up here first. So that will plug in to the rear charge tube, and then there's an adapter here that has to hook up into the intake manifold. Rock and roll, man. Heck yeah, dude. R Evo R life. R baby. Thanks for that, uh, Nick Zacone. You guys are doing great work over there at Evo. Anything you guys need, dude, I got you. Yeah, he flew in right from Wisconsin, uh, the Evo headquarters, <laughs> and uh, Evo put him on the job here, so he's just really overseeing the whole project. And You guys are doing a good job out here overall. Doing great work. You can tell he's an official Evo employee due to his shop shirt. 
Uh, I got gloves on, dude. I'm not worried about it. These should be Evo gloves. Maxi Flex. That's actually an Evo brand. That was their Just first business it, yeah. venture. Yeah. yeah. Is there gonna be any Evo pizza here soon, or what? Uh, Grubhub can deliver some. So if you want that, we can do that. You guys are doing a good job out here. I appreciate everything you're doing. It's coming off, fam dog. So we've got the little clip off the wastegate. And then now we're getting the rest of that off. Oh, by the way, for warranty purposes, I don't know if Scott from Honda East is watching, but these are not the Can-Ams that we bought from you. These are different. <laughs> Completely different units. These are aftermarket ones, dude. Aftermarket Can-Ams. These are from a different dealership? <laughs> from a different dealership. <laughs> Honda West took us up with these ones. <laughs> Suzuki North. Got us these. <laughs> we almost went to Kawasaki South, but I ordered these. Them. These are yeah. straight from Jenny's number two. Little do you know, I have a vendor uh, account for uh, Canem. For Canem? It's not Canem. It's Canem. They're a little different. So how do they look? What's the? Uh, they look pretty much the same. This yeah. one has a higher internal pressure. So if when you pull on that, give that a yoink. Okay, moves pretty easy. And I'll give this one a yoink. You can feel it's a little bit tougher. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Quite a bit tougher actually. Neat. Crack pressure, baby. Cool. Tighten some tubes. Tight. Rick, some dudes. Rick Tuber. <laughs> the Rick Tube is going on, dude. So what are you doing again? Tighten up some tubes on the turbo outlet there? Yep. Cool, man. I'm not taking a nap in here. How are you feeling about Rick's uh, some pizza, Rick? I don't think I've turned down pizza once in my life. And if that's an option today, I'm not going to turn it down again. Today's not a different day. Today is another day. The game has changed, but the players are the same. We are back in the Rick unit, and we're about to tune this bad boy. So we got our map tuner plugged in, uh, HDMI cable onto the map tuner, this cable into the diagnostic port. We're going to click the car on, but we're not going to run it. We'll make sure our lights are off to save the battery. And uh, we're going to go to our vehicles here, because we have multiple cars on this now. We're going to make sure to choose the 1179, which is Rick's, or no, Rick, which one is yours? 1179, you got okay, it. Okay, yep, so select that. Are now, yeah, don't steal this car. We're going to go to programming. We're going to have multiple options here under programming. So we have the stock file in case he ever wants to flash back to stock, which is good to have. We also have the 3RWI file, and when we go into it, it should give us some stuff that we need to do. So. Required components, uh, fuel pump, uh, aftermarket exhaust cap bypass, 93 octane fuel, big injectors. We're going to have the wastegate actuator set to 8 PSI. Sorry, you can't see that. And then it gives all the stuff. And then recommended, it's going to show you clutch shift out, 8,000 RPMs. We need to replace the intercooler fan fuse with a 30 amp fuse because it's going to run more often. Rev limiter is higher, and then the uh, intercooler is going to function a bit differently now. So whenever the motor gets above 2,500 RPM, the intercooler fan is just going to be on and running and uh, keeping that boost nice and chill out for you. So uh, when you do this, you want to make sure to have your fuel system entirely hooked up because it will cycle the fuel pump. So click download, click yes, make sure the key is on, hit OK. It's going to calculate your checksum, which is a thing that we always like to see. And uh, it's going to do our ECU. Check back in, I don't know, five minutes or so. So Rick just pulled off that little uh, T30 that's on the intake manifold. And there's a little tab hooked up to it that you kind of have to gently pry out. And that contains the O-ring that you use for the uh, boost reference for the Evo kit. So that boost reference is up here. Where is it at, Ricky? In your hand. It's in your hand. Boom. So you take that O-ring off, put it on this one, and that gives you a port to hook your BOV up to. Exciting. Nice. We got Tubing. Odeker life here. Odeker. Odeker City. So Rick just got the BOV in and uh, clamped down. And so there's also a filter that'll go over the BOV. And this uh, port here hooks up to the spot on the intake manifold where Rick's going to be putting the little boost reference adapter. And then it's full BOV life. All we have to do now is put your uh, CAD delete back on. Tunes already tuning. It's gonna be tight. Choo choo, baby. That's a hair nut for your knuckle hair. Look at that. That looks nice. That's a really nice piece. It's high quality stuff. Yeah, so this goes over top of the BOV and it's got a little hole in it for that boost uh, reference there. Boom, you gotta pop it through, but you can do it. 
and then you uh, hose clamp it around that little spot in the bottom of the BOV where it hooks in. Hindsight yeah. probably should have done this when the BOV was off. Yeah, so there are some situations where the BOV could uh, suck in air not very often, but they put this on there anyway just in case. Yeah, just make sure it's all the way around that collar in the BOV. She's seated, man. Full seated. And then, yeah, you push it through there. Kind of get like a little... It'll go. It'll go. Come on, Reggie, come on. Push it! Oh, push it! Oh, dang, your ECU must have just tuned. All right, motor kick back on. Looks like we're done here with the uh, ECU tune. So at this point it says complete, we hit next, and we're just back to our main screen so we can disconnect it here. And uh, last thing we gotta do is put the new wastegate actuator on and make sure that crack pressure is adjusted to eight pounds. And when that's done, this thing is ready to run. Mighty vac, baby. So we're gonna be using this thing to adjust the uh, wastegate crack pressure. So on the 3RWI kit, it comes with a uh, different wastegate actuator like you guys have already seen. And so this particular tool will allow us to set up the crack pressure. So that means the pressure in which the wastegate actuator uh, moves and then opens the wastegate and the wastegate starts bleeding off boost. So we're gonna set this thing to start moving and you wanna make sure you just get when the rod starts to move and we're gonna set that up to show at eight PSI. So uh, I'm gonna watch the gauge, or sorry, I'm gonna watch the rod and then reference the gauge right when the rod starts to move. So the rod just moved and we're pretty low. So uh, we have to go in and tighten up the tension on that. And to do that, what you do is you unhook it from the turbo and then thread it in a bunch. And that keeps some pre-tension uh, on the wastegate. So the wastegate actuator is here and this basically diverts airflow away from the, the turbine and then uh, slows the turbo down. And so uh, when that happens, obviously it makes no more boost. All the boost, no boost, so we have to uh, adjust that right. So, might need another guy to come in here and pull this thing on. I got it there, but we'll keep watching. So, hasn't moved yet, hasn't moved yet. Spot to start moving. There it goes, just started moving. And that one is at five, six, seven pounds. So, we'll thread it in maybe one more time. So, half thread, full thread. Hook it back up there for me, Jason. Okay, so watch the rod start to move. Hasn't moved yet. Hasn't moved yet. Should be moving any second. Okay, it's, there you go. And that is right at eight. So that's exactly where we want it to be. Uh, and if you do make this uh, adjustment incorrectly, you'll be running too much boost. You don't want that. Could hurt your motor. So it's good here. Mighty back life. Dropping it into the oblivion. Yep, so it sounds like Jason just got tuned because the fuel pump kicked on and uh, we'll hook the uh, clip back onto this and then this boost line coming from the uh, boost pressure solenoid over here gets slid back on here. And you can put a new Oedeker clamp on if you need to, but uh, we found out in our running that these hold pretty well if you just get it to slide back onto this new wastegate. So uh, other than that, man, I think you're just down to what? The... Uh, Frickin' uh, cat, cat bypass? Cat bypass, and that's it. Dang, man. Then it's time to run this bad boy. Well, you took the lead, man. Amazing. <laughs> we just killed like a crap load of pizza, and now it's time for Rick to now take a nap. Nine pounds heavier to finish up this uh, unit here. So Jason's is pretty much done. Rick has just got the cat delete pipe back on. So it's sort of the reversal of what we did with the installation. You just put it on, put the V-band on, no big deal. And then uh, this will mate up to the stock exhaust. You don't have to reuse the gasket, but you do have to reuse the four spring clamps that come with it. So, and then obviously the heat or the yeah heat shield's got to go on as well. How's it going here, boys? Looks like getting the final T30s back on the back muffler cover here. Overall, great work. You guys excited to run these things or what? Oh, yeah. Born ready. It's time for the first startup, man. 3RWI, a lot of changes here, but if I know anything about Evo, it'll just start right up. Boom. So, way more injector flow, 93 tune. Should start and run like totally normal. Sounds way better too, I love it. Can we go two for two? 
we got the rick unit. I bet you she'll fire right up, fam. We'll see. A lot of changes, just like Jason's. 3RWI. Oh, yeah. Started right up, no problem. Well, we'll get some heat in these bad boys and uh, see what they can do. All right. Seriously, up. It's getting really serious. We got Rick going out. Jason's already out there. We're all hel helmeted up. Wow, that was just so bad. It sounded like I was having a stroke. Anyway, we're helmeted up and uh, we're about to see these bad boys rip for the first time. Rick's gonna do some zero to 60s when he gets some heat in it and we'll see what happens. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm excited for the before and after. That's like, this is perfect. Perfect before and after stuff. Day, yeah, yep. temperature's about the same. Like nothing's really changed. Same, the temperature is the same. The game is changed with the players in the setting. <laughs> man. I like where we could kind of stand together. I love me a tuned unit, man. Me too. Doesn't matter what it is. Unit? Yeah. Especially it's when really, you really neat. you get yourself a turbo. Oh, look at them rip. Dang. Look at them. They're <laughs> running them already. Listen man. to that, it just sounds like jet fighters are Yeah, you can really hear the freaking turbos, man. These guys haven't even freaking cycled their brakes around. I know. <laughs> Let's go drag race into a house! <laughs> Don't I love it. Here. I mean, it's better than mud, dude. Yeah, very true. I will, I'll like... take the dust, bring in the <laughs> dust in! Ooh, Will's getting serious, it's time to line oh, up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Will knows what he's doing. You've been here before. Oh, look at the race! Dead nuts! <laughs> Just totally dead good. nuts! That was good! This thing gets down, boys and girls. <laughs> Run strong! It sounds like it runs good. You, dude, both you guys are like, they're dead nuts. Yeah. And they run hard. Oh, dude, it's, it, it feels good. <laughs> Let's get a 0 to 60 on yours. Okay. How do you feel, Jason? Man, what a difference. It really just wakes the car up. Yeah. It, it makes a world of difference. Like I, and even in a stock condition, I totally thought this thing ripped. It's just limitless now. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm blown away by it. Awesome. Heck yeah, dude. We're gonna get to zero to 60 with Rick. So it was, cool. was 5.33 before. Yeah. We'll see what it is now. All right, so we got the zero to 60 set up. She was 5.33 before. I'm hoping it gets into the fours. So we will. We do have more wheel spin now, though. Yeah, that's so we gotta take that into account. Anyway, let her rip, fam dog. Woo! <laughs> I say it lit up better. It looks like it lit up better. I need to launch her. All right, we'll see what the date is. All right, Rick. Here we go, boys. 5.17, so we're talking uh, two tenths improvement. Okay, okay We saw okay. a lot of spin on that run though. Yeah, it's drying out out here a lot more. You can tell like he's not getting any moist ground. That's okay, point. we'll run it so, again. Try a Still, couple different lines, yeah. Two tenths is good. There you go, bro. Like sounded like it dug. Yeah. yeah. Sounded yeah, it like it dug. God, yeah. it looked like Hopefully it took that little good. flatter line yeah. Yeah. from that hill. It looked like it took off good too. Yeah. All right. Data Doug, where is he at? <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Come on, fours. All right, you guys ready for it? Yep. 493. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wow. Going quicker and quicker, man. Wow, that is four tenths improvement to 60. That's four awesome. tenths. Yeah, finding the traction again, finding the good line. Yeah. So, and obviously, you know, so now we're actually not in ideal conditions out here when it gets this dry. So, you know, I'm sure it would post a better number if you find the right day and the right ground conditions. And probably even today, if you kept playing around, you'd, you know, squeak that down further. But that's a big, that's a big difference. That's huge. Yeah. So that's the 25-ish horsepower of the wheel that we're talking about right there, Rick. Yeah. So that's Easy it, man. Install, do yep. it in a couple hours. No big deal. What more can you ask for? Well, I guess not. a spot to purchase it from would be a good spot. Rick, you know of a place? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you hop on to uh, sidebysideblogparts.com, you okay. can find this 3RWI 
and a bunch of other good Evo products on there. A bunch of other nice stuff too. So. Wow. That's great could, to hear. I didn't know about email that. And talk to Rick himself. He's the side by side blog parts manager. Yeah, what's your email, Rick? Side by side blog.com at gmail.com. Okay, yeah. Talk to Rick. He'll hook you up with all this stuff. But uh, if you want to go faster with your Maverick, this is how you do it. Cool, man. I'm happy. Neat. What else do we do? I don't know. Maybe we could run. Just run a couple of machines together. We got other X3s unloading. We got an X Turbo S. That might be kind of a fun thing to run. You don't want to cut the video off right when the action starts. Yeah, that's yeah true. I this agree. Is There's more to happen. Let's do some drag races. Uh, all right. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> we got beast mode warmed up here. Just some friendly runs. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got a flag, man. Let's see this. Rick Mav versus 168. Should be a good one. Oh. Alright, we're gonna have to try that one again. Yeah. There, there was a good race here, finally. Alright. Okay, okay. Alright, I think they got out a little better there. Looked like probably. Probably the Rick Mav. The the Mav comes out harder than the Razor. Yeah. And we'd noticed that the instant we drove one of those. Right. It's got that little whoop. Yeah, right. The and Turbo Nick S kind of. But Nick doesn't like doing that, so. I pushed it. I don't do that shit. <laughs> How'd that go down there? Yeah, I lost. Well, uh, you know, it happens. All those sides, the freaking X3s dig so hard from the bottom, man. Yeah, like it, his, his left really hard, man. Settled in and made a good move. Evolution Power Sports, baby. I gotta say, Rick and Jason's machine ran excellent today. It ran so good. It ran them against some other stuff. It ran awesome. So and uh, really happy about the install. What yes. do you guys have to say about it? Uh, I'm super excited to get to try it out on some actual trails. I think I'll be a lot more happy with it. Um, kind of a unique situation, not really getting any experience with its stock. But I don't really want to experience its stock after having <laughs> driven yeah. it with the Evo Tune and all the other good stuff we put on there. So. Big thanks to Evo. Couldn't be happier with it. Nick, you helped install. Thanks for doing that, brother. The install was fun. It was, it was a good time. A great time today. Got Real to good day. Got to hang out with Rick, dude. Got to give him a little more power. Evo Power Sports for the win. Side my side blog for the win. Rick Aston for the win. Jason for the win. Doug Butterfield for the win. Doug's coming in for the win as well. Hey, Doug, for the win. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for helping us out on the parts store, buying Patreon, all you guys at the end. We'll throw your names in if you sign up. Even like a buck a month. It's okay. It really help. Every helps. Every little bit helps. Literally. Yeah. All of it helps. So thanks again for that. Thank you to Evo. And uh, make sure to get these parts from uh, SideBySideBlogParts.com. Best parts, best prices. Talk right. to Rick. Thanks for being a part of it. <laughs>